Okay. So last area was uh, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Um, I went there when I had about three months left. It was really like, it, it was a, a new area. It was, I guess, opening up again. Um, newly formed ward. When we first got there, we didn't know much about the area. And honestly, like there's not a lot, it, it, there's not a lot about the area to tell because it was mostly neighborhoods. It, uh, Broken Arrow is a suburb of Tulsa. Um, so like it's, you know, we're probably half an hour away from where I was before. There are a lot of Native American influences just everywhere around there. You just have a lot of Native American names. Um, so I don't know exactly where the name Broken Arrow, like why it is that name. Uh, there are like no sidewalks there and no bike lanes. And so biking around there was like treacherous and just so scary sometimes. We kind of got used to it there. A lot of times we just opted to walk because it seemed a lot safer. The Rima Baptist Bible College, it's like stuck right in the middle of, of all these different suburbs. And so it's this huge, um, like it is a, a really big building. I think they said the roof is like the size of a football stadium, like a football field or something. Um, and they have, again, this is like the, the rumor that went around. They have this shield at the top that says faith on it and it's always spinning. Um, and so it's called the, the faith shield. But they said the speed at which it spins is equal to the amount of faith that the people all have at the time. And so it's like, if there's a lot, I mean, if there's a lot of faith, it's spinning really fast. Um, but then I was always like curious whenever we drive by and I like wasn't spinning. I was wondering what happened that just destroyed everyone's faith. Um, so I'm wondering if that's like true or if that's just the rumor. I prefer to think it's true because that's, it was more entertaining for me as a missionary. So weather just like the, I guess it's, it's the way it goes in most of the mission. Like when a storm comes through, it pretty much, like the way, the way the mission is shaped is such that when a storm hits, it pretty much covers the whole mission all at the same time. Um, and so right at the very end of my mission, the tornado that hit more Oklahoma, um, I, I was in like, that area was in the direct path of, of where it went. And so we were, we were all having like an activity together with all the missionaries, it was preparation day. And like, one of the zone leaders, he gets a call and he's like, hey, you know, a tornado just hit more. Uh, we should probably go because it's coming our way. And so I guess it, when it hit more, it picked up and the storm just went right over where I was. Um, again, like crazy torrential rain, lightning everywhere. Like whenever there's a, one of those supercell storms, it's just nuts how powerful it gets. And so naturally, whenever that happens, we all go stand outside and watch it pass instead of like being afraid of tornadoes. So we went outside and just watched it go over. Um, I remember one night though, I was, I was training at the time and this storm came through in the middle of the night. I was, I woke up because my, you know, the, the phone started vibrating because there was a weather emergency. It's just like, you know, tornado warning, um, some have touched down. So like that's the difference between tornado warning, tornado watch. Um, so like tornado watch is like, hey, conditions are right. Just be aware in case there is one. Tornado warning means one has touched down and like it's a confirmed sighting. So it says tornado warning. I go out and like, again, thunder and lightning and crazy rain, crazy strong wind. Like you have branches being ripped off of trees. And I like, because I was just woken up, I was totally caught off guard. I just started like shaking and I'm like, I don't know what is wrong with me. So I just like clench down and I like get it to stop. And then my phone vibrates again. It's like, oh, there's a flood warning too, because there's so much rain. And so I go into like my new companion and I'm like, elder, like we need to get ready because you know, we might have to like leave or something. So like, th this is a really bad storm. And he's like, you know, he's just in bed. He's like, yeah, I know if it gets bad enough, you'll just let me know. And I'm like, oh my gosh, are you serious? You're just going to lay there? The sad thing was like, he was right. If, if it did get bad enough, I would have woken him up, but he just went right back to sleep. I, I, I was frustrated with that. And I guess for some reason, like my phone wasn't ringing, but the mission president was like trying to call us to tell us that there was like a tornado. So I guess within within the area, or at least within the district, a tornado had touched down pretty close to us and it like picked up a trailer and like threw it or something. Tornadoes are like always drawn to trailer parks. It's really weird. They're like magnetic for some reason. 